How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of uh, double IPA hopeful goodness in the form of Fox Farm Brewings. It is their daylily. This is a double IPA, 8.1%. Natty that. Yeah, Fox Farm Brewing. Music Vale Road, Salem, Connecticut. Um, haven't been there. I was bummed. I was wanting to come back there or hit there on my way back from New England last time. Didn't have the time. Um, but I'm lucky enough to have awesome people send me awesome beers. And this one comes courtesy of Tyler. Um, he shot me off a box of deliciousness, and uh, yeah, label-wise, I really dig Fox Farms labeling. Uh, just the kind of cross pattern thing, I dig it, and just how they stick with that kind of kind of classy kind of wood etching style. It's almost like it's not like Trillium labels, but it, 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 I think it takes lots of sensibility from uh, Trillium labels, and I'm totally okay with that. Uh, anyway, yeah, I mean that doesn't look like a super new school over the top kind of double IPA. It's not turkey gravy or butternut squash soup, but she's hazy, that's for sure. Quarter pinky finger. You know, tight, compact bubble, a little bit of rocky edges on a semi-creamy kind of center of a head. She looks like an IPA. She looks like a double IPA. She looks like Saison, actually. It's got a nose. Oh, yeah. That green, baby. It's like all kinds of green all over the place. Oh, yeah. That's all the green. All the green are belong to us on this one. I mean, it is scallions. There's a little bit of weed in there, both smoking and pulling weed. There's a little bit of green grassiness. There's all kinds of green floating around this. And I really can't get much of anything else because of how impactful that green comes off. Yeah, I mean, there's a sweetness there. There's a, there's a, a, a bittering outside that greenness there. But I couldn't really tell you much about it because the way that green just kind of envelops the whole beer... This kind of turns me on. The table's only a couple inches higher in a second. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, that's creepy good. Like, creepy good. Just throwing gobs and gobs of that green at you. And it's kind of... There's something really poetic about the way this beer kind of translates from the nose to the taste. Because it is a facsimile of itself you don't see that a lot in beers not that that's a overtly positive or negative thing i really do enjoy when a beer gives you one thing in the nose and kind of gives you the old okie doke and gives you something different in a taste but the way this one kind of just it's exactly you smell it and you're like i smell this i drink it i drink this and it gives you not just what you're smelling in a taste but that appropriate level of what you're smelling in the taste it's just really fun. To me, that shows purpose. That shows I want what you're smelling to translate and what's actually in a taste. And I think that's kind of what separates some of the haves from have-nots when it comes to beer. Because you don't accidentally eke into that. That's something that you do on purpose. Nice mouthfeel. Not going to be confused with heavier dense or anything like that. But it has enough density to it. Kind of let you know you're drinking something with heft. It's a little bit of pop of heat, the ever so slightest bit of pop of heat in the back end, so you know you're drinking something that has a little bit of oomph to it also. Um, the way that fruit portion of the show actually starts rising with every sip is nice, heavily citrus leaning as most of these new school hazies do. There's an obvious kind of tropical fruit uh, thing there, maybe a soft kind of cantaloupe melon vibe going on. But it's really that green is the star of the show here. You're getting all different portions of it here. You're getting the big kind of weed pulling and smoking weed. That green grass is coming through in a very beautiful way. And it just showcases so much of that greenness. That little bit of scallion I was talking about. All those things come through. And it just marries so well. And such an impactful beer. You know, I talk about that higher ABV and how sometimes I really want these beers to be lower. This is one of those beers where I like, I want this to be an 8.1% beer. It's giving me the appropriate amount of impact and oomph. It's not a 2 by 4 to the face. I mean, eh, maybe it's a, 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 two and a, a 2 by 3 or one and a half by 4 um, It's impactful, but it's not like just a gob to the face of everything, but it's big enough. It's big enough to be like, okay, I know what I'm drinking, and I feel it both in my taste buds and my body. And just it just comes across as this is what the ABV of this beer should be. And I dig that, man. I dig it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think I gave you enough. Let's talk about it. One of the better double IPAs I've had is late. Shockingly, yes. Um, I mean, Fox Farm, I think, made the best double IPA I've had. The one I reviewed down Jersey Way. Cloud Burst or something along that line. I forget the name of it. Um, that one might have came from Tyler, too. Or it might have been Max or 18 other people in Connecticut. But, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, this is absolutely delectable. It's as good as that one. I think that other one I dig a bit more than this one, but this is no slouch. Value and availability, it's Fox Farm Brewery only. I assume their pricing is probably market value a little bit higher. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like new school double IPA, hazies, you like hazies, you like beer. And I think if you like beer, again, we'll go beer twice. I think you'll like this. Sure, the hazy IPA isn't everybody's bag, but I think the way this one comes off and how it plays, I think even the most kind of kind of uh, pig-headed kind of uh, anti-hazy person would just be like, well, I don't like hazies, but I like this one. So there you go. Another review in the books. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beer as good as this one. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.